Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Skills. In this tutorial, we will learn how to analyze pedestrian in Visim software. So let's start with the basic that is pedestrian input. So as you know, if you want to analyze any vehicle, you need to create a lane. Same way for the pedestrian, we need to create area. So click on the area, you can see here current option is polygon. So I will convert it into rectangular area. So let's create a rectangular area. Here you can see the number is 1. Let's provide the name as left side and length as 25 meter by 25 meter. Okay, so I am not changing any other parameters. Click on the OK. Similarly, create one more pedestrian area. by 25 meter as well and yeah right side okay. okay now here you can see that two pedestrian area has been created now you can input the pedestrian here you can see from the network object pedestrian input use control plus right click and here we have input table let's input it as a 500 same way for the another also 500 here you can see the pedestrian composition is also provided so currently I am selecting pedestrians second you can see the commuter at station then international maritime organization these are the default compositions that has been provided by PTB group okay so currently we are going with the first one pedestrians now the next option is how they will travel from one area to the another area so for that we need to create a pedestrian route if you will assign direct route from the first area to the second area it will not going to work so pedestrian will not going to travel from the first area to second area okay if i will run the simulation here you can see the simulation 3 error has been written to the windows machine let's see the error so there is no walkable connection to the first route point of the pedestrian route 1 to 2nd. So, the meaning is we do not have any connection between these two area. Okay, so let's provide the connection first. Again, use the area first from the polygon, change it to rectangle. Let's provide the connecting area between existing two areas. it is at 85 then 10 meter so here is our okay. now if you will start the simulation you can see the pedestrians are moving from one area to the another one here you can see the pedestrians from this area number two to area number one and area number one to Let me show you how you can change the composition also. So go to the list, go to the list, then pedestrian traffic, pedestrian composition. Here you can see the pedestrian one that we have used. It has a composition of 100, pedestrian type is 100 men and 200 women. You can change it to whatever you want or you can add another one also. Okay. The way we are changing the composition of vehicle, the same thing we can do in a pedestrian analysis also. Let me show you different models that we seem as given for the pedestrian. Go to the base data, 2D, 3D model. Here you can see the pedestrian one. So this is the model of pedestrian one. The same way you can see the different models are provided here with let's see the wheelchair model you can add your own model also the same way that we have done uh, for the bike and auto rickshaw you can add other models as well here 
next let me show you the how you can measure the travel time of pedestrian so go to the pedestrian travel time first point and second point continue now from the evaluation list configuration select the pedestrian travel time evaluation result list pedestrian travel time and run the simulation so here you can see that travel time of pedestrian will be measured okay once they will cross from the first starting to ending point the travel time will be measured okay. and number of pedestrians also so how many pedestrian and average travel time of that These are the basics about pedestrian input, pedestrian routing, travel time measurement of pedestrian. I hope that information provided will be helpful to you. Thanks for watching.